Hi everybody, it's Dina and I'm back with another video. Wednesday, March 15th, 2023, and I'm here to show you my finished Bag O' Day pattern of the week, number eight. And it was this beautiful shawlette. Um, so she used, when she did it, she used a um, Unforgettable, the Red Heart Unforgettable, which gives a better drape. I use the Caron um, Halo Colorama, and I love this yarn for the gradient it gives. It also has like a fuzziness to it. So I think it gives like a thicker end fabric. Um, this is a front post, back post pattern. And those tend to be thick and give you a pretty stiff pattern. But I think it worked out great. I would wear this as like a scarf to keep me warm. It is very warm. Um, she used two and a half skeins of the Red Heart Unforgettable. And I used um, not even a full... Um, colorama. I was going to make the whole one even though it was going to be bigger than hers. I was just going to finish it but then it started getting too big and thick and I wouldn't be able to wear it the way I'd want so this is what I had left over. So if you have one of these coloramas this is a great project to do with it. It just you know uses it up gives this great beautiful color effect. Isn't that beautiful? Now this is which she considers the right side. And you can see the texture. But I also, what I love about this, it's, it's totally reversible. Look at, it gives like that um, ribbed chain, chain look. I would wear this either way. And this is really soft yarn. My braid keeps getting stuck. Okay, so this would just be so pretty and yet very practical to keep you nice and warm. Very nice with a coat, perfect for the hockey rinks, but hockey season is pretty much over. Now we're moving on to tryouts. So it's really pretty. So this is the um, other way of wearing it. And I, and I kind of like it better this way. It looks great both ways, but I like this effect and the way it looks with the front post, back post. I mean, it looks beautiful both ways. Guys, how much do you love? I mean, I really love the way this colorama works up. I think it is just so pretty. But this is nice and warm and cushy and it's soft and bouncy. Really like it. So I would recommend this pattern. And play with it. I mean you can make it bigger and make use it really like a shawl. You could, you know, use the drape of your yarn like she did, have more of a decorative piece. But stay put. But I really like it. Okay, so that was week number eight. All right, so if, in case you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I'm gonna ask, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe, it really helps my business and it doesn't cost you anything, it's free. So just hit the subscribe button. And then if you wanna be notified of videos, because the strangest thing has been going on, my mother tells me the other day, you know, saying, when are you gonna get back to filming? And I'm like, mom, I, I have been as soon as I moved back, you know, as soon as I moved into the rental. And she's like, none of your videos have been coming up. So something happens, I don't know what. So just check, make sure the bell is um, checked to all, and then you'll get notified when I post a new video, if you'd like. All right, so now I have, Alexa, pick the next pattern. I printed, I just went, did a screenshot of every one of her patterns in her Etsy shop, and that's how I, I numbered them from one to 187. 
and that's how we see what we're gonna do next. So it's potluck. Okay, I'm gonna say her name. Alexa, pick a number from one to 187. Here's a number between one and 187. It's 66. Mm. Wow, this is one of those patterns that I would never pick to do, never. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. I'm glad I finished this one early. I'll need the full week and a half, if not more. Okay, this is a gra crochet granny square sweater. Okay, I hate attaching granny sweaters. I, I just I don't enjoy it at all. So this is one of those times where this is something that I'm gonna do and maybe, who knows, I'll tell you, oh my God, I'm so glad I did it, I love it, or I'm gonna say, no, I still absolutely hate granny squares. So I am going to purchase the pattern so I can tell you about it. Let me show you a picture of it. It's this, and I can tell by the picture, it's a lot of front post, back post, double crochets. This is gonna be a very thick sweater. Um, so I could guarantee you I'm gonna make a small. Okay, so she said, so she makes a medium. So that's that's what I'll make. I'll make whatever she's making. Um, she said it's an intermediate pattern. She used 1,650 yards of lion man, mandala roving. Um, I don't know if that's a three or a four. And uh, in the color almanac. And she did color control this pattern, she said. And you use front loop or back loop only stitches, single cro crochet decreases, front post double crochets, double crochet, single crochet, slip stitches. Um, so that's pretty much it. She has the directions for the special stitches and you have to make 40 of the granny squares. Mm -hmm. So, I might even end up making this a crop for one of my nieces. I don't know, you know, I always alter things. So you never know how I'm gonna make this. I can assure you I won't make it bigger. <laughs> okay, so the sleeves are kind of cool. They're not grannies. It looks like she did like stripes, block, color block. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I mean, we'll see. This is what I like though about doing it like this. It really takes me out of my comfort zone. It has me doing something I never would have picked. So this is pattern nine. And this one's gonna be one I have to definitely print. I have a feeling I'll have to refer back to it. I don't know if it's printing. All right, so the yarn, hmm. That's a lot of yarn. That's a real lot of yarn. Um, bear with me, I'll be right back. Okay, this is pure luck. I don't know how this happened. Look what I have, mandala roving. And I have four. So I think that's gonna be fine. Uh, yeah, she used four cakes. And um, she used a size six millimeter crochet hook. So um, I'm gonna make this exact sweater exactly as she says, I think, I think, um, you know, that size, I'm not gonna size up or down or anything. So I will have enough. This is a size three, but this is definitely a thicker three and it's roving. So sometimes you get really thick. Um, I like this colorway. I don't love it, but I like it. Um, if this comes out nice. This is some, this is colors that my nieces love and my sister loves. So that's good. You get 415 yards a cake and I need 1650. So we're good. All right. I can't believe I have this. And I had it set aside, not in my stash. I don't know why. Very strange. All right, so that's that's pattern number nine for this year. Okay, so if any of you make any of these patterns with me, please post a picture on my Facebook group. It's very inspiring to see everybody's take on all these patterns. Um, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna post one or two pictures. I'm not sure how many I have of people's makes that they have done along with me. Um, so stay and watch those. It's really very inspiring, like I said. My Facebook group is always linked down below. Um, and the pattern that I completed this week, that one, will be linked down below as well as the new pattern. 
and um, it, this is called the Crochet Pullover Sweater Granny Square Sweater, and it's pattern number 740. So that'll be linked down below if you guys want to tie a bunch of granny squares together with me. <laughs> okay, everybody, I hope you guys are all doing great, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!